Alabama, uh, we're also known as Auburn Montgomery. Um, I have been working with Auburn University and the ACEWARE registration system for about eight years now, and I'm the registrar for our outreach programs. Um, I was asked to do this presentation because of my expertise with the registration system and primarily with the online multiple interfaces of ACEWEB. Our office uses multiple interfaces because we have such a wide variety of programs uh, for the community. Um, our programs are non-credit and are for all ages. We're a self-supporting unit, so it is very helpful for us to have our programs viewable for online registration. Uh, customers are more apt to register online rather than calling us over the phone to register. So basically, we use multiple interfaces to better serve our customers' needs when in the registration process. We have such a wide range of programs, for example, youth programs to Lifelong Learning Institute programs to law enforcement, business breakfast. I'll give some more details about our other programs later. Um, each of our programs have different needs, and so the alternate interfaces give us plenty of options because they are customizable. Um, the interfaces give us the ability to let instructors view their student rosters and keep track of their enrollment. They can also export their students' contact information to an Excel spreadsheet and contact students directly. I used this option when the university closed due to a snow day a few years ago, and it was so helpful because I was able to get the data um, for our students from the system without having to be in the office. So that was really nice. Um, with multiple interfaces, you have multiple payment options. You can let the customers pay by credit card. They can, you can do online invoicing for a program. Customers can pay outstanding balances online. So that is very nice. All the interfaces are customizable where you can actually change the look and feel of the pages. You can customize the personal data form. Uh, whenever customers are creating accounts in your online interface, um, you have the ability to customize email receipts for each of the alternate interfaces, which is really nice. Say you have two different programs with different cancellation policies. This really comes in handy. Um, when we show those programs on two separate interfaces. So we've had several events where we drew in a very large number of registrations, and we didn't want the customers to have to worry about creating an account. So we discovered the wonderful world of express registrations. <laughs> um, express registration pages allow customers to simply register online without having to create an account. These pages have helped tremendously for one of our contracts that we have with the Alabama Department of Labor. We have workers' compensation seminars every year. These customers, they register for one seminar just once a year, and most of them don't remember their password. So um, that has really come in handy for that program. I will show you Brittany, an example. I'm not sure your screen is refreshing. Where are we in the PowerPoint? Oh, I'm still on the second slide. Okay, so we're good then. All right. Yep. I'm just kind of elaborating on uh, the That's different fine. information here. So, um, but I will show an example later about express registrations. Um, customers register online themselves instead of having to call in or mail in their registration. So it really helps to save time. Here's an example of our enrollment that we had for 2014. As you can see, uh, the majority of our registrations were online. And um, so that was very helpful for us to have online registration available. It would have been very overwhelming if Myself, just one registrar took in 8,000 phone calls. <laughs> so, and what we have, we use 
a field in the Edit Registration screen of Student Manager to track the data for how customers registered for our program, where we, we can see if they called in or if they, they emailed in their registration, and it also automatically will do an online registration. Um, Here's a list of different types of programs that we offer. Um, each, each of these here is a different interface. For our main outreach interface, we, act, we have, oops, I'm sorry, didn't mean to scroll through so fast. We offer uh, business breakfast, conferences, English as a Second Language, Lifelong Learning Institute, or now it's going to be OSHER Lifelong Learning Institute programs, professional development, and computer training. We have our youth programs and on a different interface. And we also have law enforcement training. And of course, as I said earlier, um, our contract with the Alabama Department of Labor. And we have another interface for special conferences and events. Um, here. Let's do a poll question. All righty. We want to know how many ACE Web interfaces you're using. So if you're already using multiple interfaces, you have an option there. If you're only using the one ACE Web interface, then I think you're probably going to be the majority, only one. And if you're not using any, if you don't have ACE Web, we gave you an opportunity for that. If you don't have Ace Web, why not? It works for you 24/7, 365. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you would please select one of those, and we'll give you some results in just a moment. So it looks like about 90% of the people have voted. So, we'll give it five, four, three, two, one, and we'll close the poll, and I'll share the results. So. All right. So I guess the majority are using only one. Looks like it. We thought that might be the case, though. So we're we're good with that. So in, let me hide that, and you get to go back. You should get your screen back now. There you okay. go. Okay. All right. Well, that that's really neat to know. Um, here's a screenshot of our main outreach interface where we have the majority of our programs viewable for registration. Of course, as you can see here, here's all the different program areas that we have showing on this interface. And one thing that I did, which I will probably show again in a little bit, uh, this link right here, I have actually embedded that link to go to our youth programs interface. So that way, uh, if, a pro if a customer goes to our website and they end up at this page but want to see youth programs, they can go over to our youth program interface. And that is actually really neat. Um, let me actually show you an example of that. <coughs> I'm just going to pull it up here. Okay, here's actually a live view of our registration page. And here is the link that I've embedded. And once I click on it, if you'll notice, it looks different. And that link went to our youth program interface. So um, I thought uh, you all would uh, like to see that. Um, but the, these interfaces are really nice. They're very customizable. And you have endless possibilities <laughs> with them. <clears throat> Here is an example of what an instructor access screen looks like. You can see the course title, the number of students enrolled, and if there's anyone on the wait list, dates and times of the program. Um, you can also see a button to the left of each of the programs, which shows instructors to view the name roster for each of their programs. They can download their roster to an Excel spreadsheet, and they can actually email their students from ACEWEB. And they can also 
view courses that they taught in the past and can record grades. So that is a really neat option. And one we're going to explore further in July with its own little webinar. So yeah, it, it is a cool feature. The instructor and, access. Yeah. And so Brittany, what you've done then is made yourself an instructor, correct? So that you can then do some work from home as needed, like in your weather conditions and things. Yes, I've made myself a master That's level a great or super mm -hmm. instructor, I think is what it is called. So. I can log in and view all of our programs, and that, that is very helpful. Great tip. So, <clears throat> here's, of course, as you saw a few minutes ago, um, a screenshot of our youth programs interface. Um, we have the youth program in its own category because these programs um, have special needs where we ask the customers, like, the parents will enter the child's grade level, their birth date, what school they're going to, their t-shirt size, and um, it's really great to have that option where we can customize this whole template to children. So that way, when an adult goes to this template to register for a class, I've actually customized the button to say enroll your child instead of enroll yourself. And uh, so that is really helpful. And uh, here's, a, of course, a screenshot of the screen where you're creating an account in the Youth Programs interface. You see where we have uh, their grade level. We can get their school name, t-shirt size, if photographs and or videos can be taken of the child. So, And of course, special needs, that's very good to know for the children. Um, that way we can provide that information to their teachers before the classes. And um, here is a screenshot of our law enforcement interface. Uh, here is where a lot of training coordinators log in to register their officers through this interface. And of course we have the look and feel of the page catered towards law enforcement. It looks very different to the youth program page. Um, here, of course, we have a lot of proxy registrations where, and that means it, that where someone logs in to the website and they click enroll someone else for a program. So they're not registering themselves, but they register others. So a training coordinator can register like up to 10, 15 names for a program. And uh, here is what the uh, creating an account page looks like in the law enforcement interface. Of course, this uh, this screen is a lot more simplified. They don't need nearly as much data for this program as we do for the youth programs. And what's neat about the multiple interfaces, you can customize the field names. This right here is actually the firm field, and I've rena renamed it agency. Um, so that's a really neat feature that, that you can do. Here is a screenshot of our um, Department of Labor Workers' Compensation Seminars. And we've designed this interface to look just like the Alabama Department of Labor website. When you're looking at this screen, you think you're logged in or you're viewing the Department of Labor website, but you're actually in our AUM website. <laughs> um, we offer our registration system and the Alabama Department of Labor manages the seminars. We used to use this regular registration page for the program, but since these attendees only register once a year, we thought it would be best to try express registration pages for these programs. And um, I will show you an example. Of course, here's a screenshot or the bottom half of a screen for an express registration page. And uh, we'll look at an example. And see, here's an express registration page. It doesn't have the left navigation, so it is all on one screen. 
You have the course title at the top and your course information and details. And down below is the area where the customer enters their contact information. They choose their fee and then they click to register online and they'll be prompted to our uh, payment gateway. See, this is really nice. They don't have to log in. They just enter their information and they're done. So, there's such a wide range of customizability with these and that's one thing we love having, we're, we're love to be able to use. Um, let's see here. Express registration pages save time for the customer when trying to register online. Um, they simply create an account and register all in one page. And uh, that is what makes it so much faster and more straight to the point for registration. They can be used for free events or paid events. For example, in January of this year, we had a Chick-fil-A hospitality, hospitality training event with Mark Cathy where there were 2,047 enrollments. We knew it would be a great idea to create an express page for this large event because of the high volume of registrations coming in. Uh, since I'm the only registrar in our office, it would have been very overwhelming to have these customers call in their registrations. Um, it does take a little longer to create the express pages because not only do you enter the program in Student Manager, you create the page uh, in your ACE Web folder. And, uh, but uh, for the customer, it is so much easier and a faster registration process. I'll do another example. Um, we had an economic forum in November. And of course, this the look and feel of this screen is different to the other ones I showed you. You can put in your, your own logos. Here's the course title and the description and the simplified personal information area. So, When I went to the Aceware Users Conference this year in April, I learned how to embed express registration pages into our course listings in Aceweb. Uh, when I first started creating these pages, all I knew how to do was make this specific link. Um, but one thing that's really exciting, I will show you. Let's see here. I'll go on back here to our outreach page to show an embedded link. Instead of having to have an actual link, I am in our normal interface. When I click here on this social networking conference, it goes straight to an express page. So I learned how to do that at the conference, which is really exciting. And uh, so I'm really happy that I was able to attend and to learn that. So let's see here. It's important that we display all our programs for registration online because it helps with limiting um, the number of phone calls each day. We like to allow the customer to pay online and have the ability to pay outstanding balances online if, um, if they're possibly doing a payment plan. Express pages have helped in many ways for registration. They do take a little longer to create in the beginning, but they are definitely worth it. Um, instructor access is wonderful for us to view students when we're not in the office. We have an employee that will be traveling out of state soon and she will be able to see all her students and rosters online while she's away. So um, it's really nice that we've, we have instructor access for our own employees as well. Um, I have a special thanks to Mike, our ACEWARE technician. Uh, for his help these past few years with our AceWeb interfaces, and I couldn't have done any of this without his help. <laughs> I think Mike's here cheering you on, right, Mike? I am. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for all your help. Um, I know I email him on a regular basis, um, 
but it's definitely worth it. <laughs> Um, I also make sure to use the Student Manager ACEWEB help guide as much as possible. And so that's very helpful. Having, having multiple interfaces gives us endless possibilities for customization and online registration for our programs. Um, each of our interfaces caters to the different needs of our many different programs. We have customized the look and feel of the pages. And we ask different questions on the personal data forms and different email receipts. So um, it's really nice that we've had that ability. So I think uh, I wanted to do a show of hands. Um, let's see. By a show of hands, how many of you use or create express registration pages? And if you would please, on the little portion of the Citrix toolbar that juts out to the left, you'll see a hand. Fingers up means you voted. If you click on it to raise the fingers, if you click on it twice, you raise the fingers and lower the fingers. And so your vote doesn't count. So if you would please. And I see people voting. It looks like about a quarter of your audience uses oh. Express Registration. Yeah, that's so that's great. very good. And there was a webinar on that just last month, wasn't it, Lori? That we yes, have archived on Express Registration. So if you missed that, it's certainly available to look at in, in your free time. <laughs> <laughs> it is there, yep. Uh, so, so definitely if you want to learn more specifics on express registration pages, you can definitely check out that webinar. Um, this one is just mainly an overview of all just different interfaces, but I have really enjoyed using express pages. They've helped us so much for our program. <clears throat> um, Obviously, you can see that there are so many more options for registration when you have multiple interfaces instead of having just one. Having an express registration page allows customers to check out more quickly and to not have to worry about logging in with a password. Um, of course, none of this could have been possible without the help of uh, our Aceware technician, Mike. And so I just really appreciate um, all his help that he's done for us. So um, I think that's pretty much it. I know I've gone pretty fast, but um, are there any questions that I can answer? Uh, I have a couple for you, but before we do that, in the chat area, which is just below the um, um, question answer portion, I'm going to put the link to the webinar archive page because several people said that they missed the um, express registration webinar, so they would like to go back on your recommendation and take a look at that. So I'm going to put the link for the page in there. Mm, so that's very first, and everybody should have it now. Um, is there an additional cost for using multiple interfaces? Sharon, do you want to take that one? For using additional interfaces, yes, there is alternative web interfaces is an additional module and the price is $3,500 for each interface that, you're, that you purchase. And watching today, we can give you a discount and uh, we'll make that $3,000 if you can place that order before the end of the year. So let me know or let Lori know if you're interested in purchasing an alternative um, interface or two or three. Okay. And Brittany, this one will be for you. With each of the interfaces, the data will go all into the same database? Yes, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, can, I, can I interrupt? Sure, Mike. Sure. Um, Alternate interfaces do not have to go all into the same database. You can have separate databases if you want to. If you do, then there's an extra cost because you have to have a separate student manager. But it is possible to have multiple interfaces going to separate databases. So Brittany has them all going into one, but we also have other schools that have one ACE web, multiple interfaces, but multiple student managers. 
so you can have multiple departments. So that's an option as well. Okay. I didn't know that. Uh, that's, that's really neat. Can you choose which interface or pages can uh, use express registrations? Or do they all have to use express registrations? I've got a variety of questions on how the two work together. Well, you can create an express page on any of the interfaces. Um, all it has to do with is where you put the express page. If you want, I can show you an example of how I have done an express page. So uh, what we'll do is I'm going to show my student manager screen. Okay. Can everybody see my student manager screen? We can. Okay, great. I'm going to show you. I know how earlier I showed you the social networking conference. Show you what I did. In the ACE Web Info tab of your course screen, you put the file of your express page right here in this field of the information page field. And what I did was I have this particular grouping code only displaying on our main outreach interface. If you would like the program to display on a different interface, you can connect grouping codes to the different interfaces. So um, what I have done here, I'll show you. In our, we have each of these folders is a different interface. And here in our main one, I have put the express page in the custom folder, and it's right here at the top. Um, I think the best practice for express pages is to have the page be named as the course code, and it, that way the file name is short and it can fit in the field of the student manager, um, the field area right here. And so, but you can put it on any interface you want to. So, does that help answer the question? I think so. I think so, and I think we can follow up with everybody with those step-by-step -step instructions in case you missed those as she was watching. So, thanks. Okay. okay. Uh, and if you are a student and you have registered for law enforcement and for the Alabama Department of Labor, do you get separate transcripts or do you get one transcript with both programs? Actually, it should show all your programs on one transcript um, just because it's under a different interface uh, doesn't mean that it won't show the program. Uh, whatever is connected to that student's course record is what should show under the student's history of classes or on their transcript. Alrighty. Like they can log in to AceWeb to view their history of classes and it will show both. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm working my way down through. Sure. Um, It does this interface, does the or do the multiple interfaces, the extra interfaces, uh, do they all automatically create new accounts for students that do not already have an account? Um, I guess it, it just depends on the customer. Um, if the customer does already have an account, they can log in to each of the interfaces, of course, using the same username and password, or he or she can create an account in each of the interface, or really they can create an account one time, and then no matter what interface you're on, you can log in with your username and password. Is, is that uh, basically answer the question? 
I think so. Mike, is there anything you'd like to add? Unless they're using separate databases. If they're using the same database, um, they can create a new record, uh, but if it recognizes the email address and the password, then sign up one time in one database, no matter how many interfaces there are, because it's all pulling from the same database. If you're using separate databases for separate interfaces, of course it's not going to pick up your information from one interface to the next because they are separate databases. Okay. And there are so many questions and we've asked some of them and answered some of them. Um, and so I'm, I'm having a hard time going down through them. There's a lot of reading to do here. Mm -hmm. uh, Brittany, you mentioned early on that you were using a field to track who took the registration. Are you specifically using a field or are you just running a report to find that? I will actually show you here in Student Manager. We'll go to Edit the Registration. In the Edit Registration screen for a, in a student's record, I have renamed this field right here. I think it's like NM code. I've renamed it How Reg, and I have, whenever I go in here to do a registration, I choose this field. And if a customer registers online, it will automatically stamp registered online over here in this field so that, that way I know. I do run a report to show me how the customers registered. And of course, for each registration that I do, of course, it will either be a call in or email in they registered at an event, you know, things like that. The online won't be automatic here in this particular field, but it does show in this field. And I just know when I'm pulling my report. There's also a wonderful report for that, and it because it does uh, list the created by at the very bottom of the screen. Oh yes, update. Yep. Updated, updated by updated and then to your left created, <laughs> created by web. Yeah. All righty. I think if you would like to go back to your slideshow and show your contact info, I think sure. we have answered all the questions. Yes, feel free. If you have any questions for me, um, you're welcome to email me or give me a call. Um, and of course, here's the link to our website if you want to check out how um, to get to our, our interfaces. But thank you all so much for attending today. I really appreciate it, and I enjoyed having this opportunity. Good. Well, thank you, Brittany. Nicely done. I learned Very a bunch today. I'm sure everybody did. Great questions. Yeah. Thank you. They kept me on my toes today. <laughs> <laughs> Just to let you know, uh, we're going to run some mini webinars in July, every Wednesday in July, as a matter of fact. At 1 o'clock Central, we're going to tackle for 20 or 30 minutes just a very short little topic. Uh, in July 1st, we'll be making student manager searches faster, and then we'll keep going every Wednesday thereafter. So, uh, And as promised, that instructor access via ACE Web will be July 29th. So if you register for one, you'll register for all five. We have them already up on the website, and we'll be sending out our invitations shortly. Brittany, thank you so much. Wonderful job today. Michael, You're thank welcome. you for joining us. Sharon, uh, a shout out to Chuck, who I think is listening in attendee mode. So hi, Chuck. Hi, Barb, as they're driving along. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and thank you so much. Take care, everybody. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.